Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about a subscriber requested topic regarding modest gowns and what designers are able to modify to make bridal gowns more modest. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic video you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. And don't forget to hit the follow button on TikTok, at Lavella Bridal, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. I am so thrilled that a subscriber wrote in about this topic because this is such an incredible topic for us to touch on because we are seeing bridal gowns becoming more and more sheer and see-through and we do have brides that want to be modest whether it's because of traditional ceremonies religion or just because they want to be modest and they don't want to show that much skin on wedding day I am so thrilled that we get to talk about this because this is something that when brides come in and want a more modest dress they feel a little defeated because there is so much see-through dresses, so much corset, so much sheerness. Brides don't even know if they have modesty as an option. Most of our brides that want a more modest dress oftentimes come to us from word of mouth because they know someone who has special ordered a dress through Lavella where we were able to make those modifications with our designers. Fortunately, we do have designers that have the ability to create modest gowns. So when you do try on, unfortunately, when you do try on dresses in store, they are very sheer, they are very open, but we have specific designers that we are aligned with that have the ability to make it modest and line everything so no skin is being shown. You can choose the level of modesty, how much coverage, how little coverage you want. The unfortunate component though is that you don't get to try on the finished product when you are shopping in store. There are certain designers and collections that make a modest collection so that stores can purchase them and have them in store. So some stores do have dresses for you to try on. If you are looking specifically for that, you can definitely Google search it. It is a niche market and majority of stores don't have a section that is purely for modest brides. Especially because we are in Los Angeles, for us, it's not something that we get all the time, so we don't invest in dresses that are 100% modest, but we have tools that we show you what that looks like. So for example, we will have a dress that has a detachable lining. So the, a bride who wants to be covered, we can put the lining in, and for those who want it exposed, we can take it out. So something that we do at Lavella is we make it as versatile as possible so that you can see it with and without out, and we are really good at creating sleeves and putting coverage inside so that you're able to see what the finished product looks like. However, it's not exact because we are ordering it from the designer to have it be fully complete to your wants and needs. Also to note, there are some designers that do not allow any modifications of any sort. That is not a designer that you're likely going to be working with. However, I will say that I have had brides that have ordered a dress from a designer that they did not allow any modifications, but they did allow the bride to order extra fabric. So the bride paid for extra yards of fabric, took the dress to a seamstress where they had them build up to the level of modesty and closure that they wanted for their wedding dress. Many of our modest brides have a seamstress that they work with often to modify a lot of their evening wear and anything that they're wearing out to really create the look that they are trying to achieve. So that's something that has worked really, really well for us as well. I am a huge fan of seeing the dress. So oftentimes for a bride who wants to be completely modest and covered, kind of like what I'm wearing today, I would encourage them to buy a dress that already has the neckline, the sleeve, the full look and the only thing that we're doing is adding lining to it so there's no skin showing and it's not see-through. That is what I recommend for any of my modest brides so there are no surprises. Or maybe it's a strapless dress with a detachable sleeve and all we're going to do is build the fabric all the way up. That's enough for you to envision. I personally feel comfortable with taking that order from my bride. 
Something to also keep in mind when it comes to modifications for these wedding dresses, there are fees associated to this because a new pattern is being created. If we are just adding lining to an existing style that is much more economically priced, there is an additional fee for adding the fabric. Some designers may not have a fee to add the lining, but most will because it is additional material being used. There are definitely fees associated with any modification that's being made to an existing style, especially where the fees will really start to increase on top of the cost of the dress, is going to be for the example that I gave on the sleeve. If you were to try on a sleeve and we were building everything up, anything that's being completely built up that is not pre-existing, that is going to be a new pattern. So as a bride, you would pay for the new pattern to be made and also the production of it. So those fees could be a little bit higher anywhere from a thousand dollars to greater just depending on the designer I'm saying a little bit on the higher end of the pricing whereas in comparison to just lining something that already exists could range anywhere from 500 to about 750 give or take don't quote me on these prices I'm just giving you a little ballpark range of what some of these things may cost another option for modesty without modifying it through the designer you could always buy the dress as is and there are detachable boleros jackets that essentially you can put on top of the dress that's fully lined so let's say you purchased a completely clean dress nothing on it you could buy a lace bolero as a separate piece if it's not lined you could have it lined or have somebody custom make you the jacket. That would be a great alternative to save on cost versus doing a modification, a whole new pattern from the designer. And like I mentioned, not every designer is going to offer these things. There are specific fashion houses that have the ability to stop production, have the time to create a new pattern, and not only have the time to do it, but are willing to do it. The reason why a lot of designers aren't willing to do it is because this does stop production lineup, right, in the production of the dresses, and it makes everybody pause to create something that they aren't typically creating that isn't part of the collection. So those are just a few other components to consider. Anything is possible. You just really need the right stylist and store to guide you through this process, give you all of your options. You can weigh out all your options along with the various different price points and decide what works best for you. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any clarifying questions or any questions that I did not cover in this video, please be sure to drop me a comment. I can make a part two, or of course, I'm just able to answer your question in the comments. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.